Did you ever go to the fridge for a drink and realize you drank the last cold Coke but forgot to put in a new 12 pack? If you're like me and want your next Coke right now, I found that you can spin a room temperature Coke in your ice tray for a few seconds. The aluminum is a great thermal conductor and it quickly transfers the cold of the ice into the warm soda. <sighs> what if we could somehow use those cans to transfer heat into our homes in those cold winter months? I'm going to try harvesting the energy of the sun's rays using empty aluminum cans and a solar heat collector. I started in the warm summer months by saving my empty Coke cans instead of recycling them. After I had hundreds of cans, I cut out the tops and bottoms and washed them. Then I made long columns by pressing them together. I built an insulated box to house the columns and hold in the heat. A computer fan pulls air through the columns and back out the other side. I was even able to get a recycled sliding glass door for the top of my heat collector. By spraying the cans and the interior of the box matte black, they'll absorb the sun's rays just like asphalt on a hot summer day. A thermostat inside the heat collector makes sure the fan only blows air into the cans when they are hot enough to warm the air. Otherwise, on a cloudy day or at night, the air would cool down as it circulated through the box. My heat collector was able to take the room temperature air out of my house and return it at over 100 degrees Fahrenheit on a sunny 35 degree winter day. On a larger scale, I wonder what we might be able to do at the college where I work to supplement the heating of a building like this one. A few heat collectors working in tandem on the roof might be a great addition to a greener future campus. We're all on this planet together. When was the last time you tried a new approach to protecting this place we call home? <laughs>